Hey, what's up? This is Justin Johnson. Welcome to the Guitar Loft. And uh, today I'm excited to show you this guitar in here. Um, this is the Gyrock guitar from Wild Customs. And um, before I open it up, I'm just impressed by this case. This is one of the coolest guitar cases I've ever seen. But um, inside, uh, appropriately enough, is one of the coolest guitars I've ever seen. So come in here. Let me open this up so we can check it out. <clears throat> and uh, first of all, I just love a case that tells you the serial number of the guitar on the outside of the case. I've never seen that before. That's just, uh, that's just cool. And it, this is by Wild Customs. That's the name of the company that makes the Gyrock guitar. And uh, Wild Customs, they make some killer guitars. And uh, basically they're used to making custom guitars with uh, features and aesthetics that would kind of blow your mind, like with no limit and it's all handcrafted, amazing craftsmanship. And this is sort of like their new flagship guitar. It's, it's an amazing design and it was based on uh, actually an idea they got from J a James Bond movie. So uh, let me show you what it's all about. Check this out. <laughs> Look at that. So uh, you can tell right there just uh, being able to flip through the pickups. You've got all these pickups here, these pickup modules and uh, they fit into the case really, really well. These pickups all actually fit into these module points here. You can have six of these pickups on this guitar at any point and switch between them uh, in the middle of a song. It's, it's just amazing. So it's basically like, I think, 15 total combinations you can have on one guitar at any point without having to change anything except flipping a little knob. Let me uh, pull this thing out of here and show you more about it. All right, so let's check this out. And uh, man, it's just beautiful, the front and back too. Look at that sunburst on the headstock and on the neck, everything like that. Beautiful mahogany back also, uh, maple top. You know, the design for this guitar was inspired by a scene from an old uh, James Bond movie actually, where James Bond was in a car chase and he was being followed and he flipped a switch and the uh, license plate on the back of the car uh, revolved and became a different license plate. And that's essentially what this does. I don't know what kind of engineering they went through. Uh, it must have taken a lot of work to, to make it this seamless and this reliable. Um, but the fact that you can just switch pickups like that and have this pickup now wired through the electronics just naturally is just amazing that you can do it that quickly. And let me show you how it works, basically. We're gonna turn the guitar around and this is nice and uh, it's beautiful, first of all, this metal uh, plate on the back. You put your finger in here, you just pull it out. It's uh, held in by magnets. And you can see the inner workings of this device, actually, and how uh, the modules fit into these sliders right here. They lock in. And um, let me show you. I'm gonna pull a module off of this. And it's nice, too, that they lock into the case so well. They're really snug in there. And on the back of each module, it actually tells you what it is. So um, you know whether it's the neck position or the bridge position. And neck and bridge pickups are actually wired differently inside um, to give you the best sound for either being in the bridge or the neck position. And you can put these on either position if you want to experiment with that. But when you want to know what it is, it's nice that they give that to you. They tell you that information. And so all you do, you see these two two points of contact right here. You line those up in the module housing here and you just snap it in. It's literally that easy. And then you can rotate it to the next point. You wanna pick a different pickup. Let's pick this one here. That's the quarter pound Strat bridge pickup. And do the same thing. That's it. So now I turn it around and I've got three pickups, just like the James Bond license plate, in that bridge position. I'm gonna do the same thing to the neck here. And uh, I'm gonna actually, this is one of their newest pickup designs. It's a full-sized humbucker. Um, all of these are from Seymour Duncan. They've got such a great, uh, both quality pickups, but also a huge variety of pickups that you can use. So the, the options are just endless. I'm going to pop that in there. And now I've got six pickups. 
And it's nice because you can flip them independently, like this is the neck one up here, or you can flip them together and you like you literally have what would normally be a completely different guitar. Just flip them at the same time. And so, you know, what's great about this, it's like, I've already worked with this guitar some in the studio. I've done some soundtrack work with it. And it's so amazing that you can just switch to a whole new guitar. If you don't like the sounds you're getting, you're like, no, I need something a little more high output or I need something that sounds more vintage. Instead of going and fishing around for a new guitar or trying to bring a bunch to the studio, you can just bring this guitar. You have a whole pickup collection. And just like that, you've got a whole new set of tones you can use two volume knobs, tone knob, three-way toggle switch, so you can actually get the in-between tones of multiple combinations of pickups also. And uh, it just freaking works. It's crazy. I love it, and it's beautiful. But instead of me talking about it, let me play some stuff on it so you can hear uh, all of these different tones for yourself. So I'm about to tune this baby up before I start playing. But uh, one of the things too, like come into the detail on this, look how beautiful these tuners are and how beautiful the paint is on the back here, on the headstock. It's such good work. And that's one of the things that uh, Wild Customs is really uh, awesome at. The aesthetics on their instruments are just incredible. All right, so I've got the pickups put in here the way I want them. And in this position with the toggle switches up here, I've got two Strat style pickups, two vintage Strat style pickups. And this is what they sound like. I'm in middle position, so you, you're going to actually be hearing both pickups. That sounds just like a Strat. I love it. Or a Tele, that kind of two Fender style pickups like that. Here's what the neck position sounds like alone. <laughs> Here's the bridge. <laughs> I love it. You know, I was, I was about to say it, it's, it sounds authentic, but then I realized it is authentic. It is the actual pickup that you would be used to if you were playing something like a Strat or something like a Tele, that single coil Fender style pickup, vintage. And what I like about this is there's no, nothing being approximated, nothing being digitally done. This is all analog. You're literally changing the pickup that the electronics are being wired to. And then if you want to switch that, let's say you want something a little beefier or something more like a Les Paul tone. I'm going to move both of these to the middle here. And now I've got this 59 style humbucker pickup here. And then this uh, humbucker here on the neck. And it'll be a totally different guitar. <laughs> more gritty, a little more chunky. You got that nice uh, sustain from the, uh, you know, that output you get from the humbuckers. But uh, again, let's hear the, just this neck pickup right here. Hear how mellow and fat it is and warm. And again, let me go back to the single coil. Totally different. <laughs> I love that you can just do it this quickly. Let's go to the middle position here. This is on these two humbuckers. Go to the bridge pickup. Just this one. And again, all of these so far, I've been using full volume on both pickups and the tone knob turned all the way to the treble side, basically. So again, any of these settings can be further manipulated by you turning the volume of one or the other pickup up or down and get even more tonal options. And I haven't even gone to the third setting, which is gonna be a quarter pound Strat style pickup. It's got bigger magnets and this uh, blade humbucker right here. So it's gonna give me an even beefier tone, a little more modern tone, but it's still gonna have that great uh, authentic tone of these nice uh, Seymour Duncan pickups. So 
So one of the times when I think that this guitar is best used is um, in situations, like I said recently, I was in the studio and I was doing some work for a soundtrack and I did not know exactly what guitars I was going to use until I started getting into the song, started overdubbing some parts. And this guitar made it so much easier because let's say I want to try, let's say I've got a part that's like power chords. You want something that's beefy maybe, but you know it's going to be a little further back in the mix, so you don't want it to take up all the space in the mix. You can go through, and let's say the part is like... <laughs> You know, that sounds pretty good, that tone right there for that kind of part. But let's say you want to maybe thin it out, brighten it up a little bit, but not let it lose any of its character or, or chunkiness. Maybe a humbucker on the neck and uh, something like a single coil on the bridge. So it still cuts through, but that, that bridge cut and treble and twang doesn't have as much power um, with, with that single coil pickup. <laughs> You can tell a huge difference right there. Listen to the difference. It's got all the same power, but it doesn't have a lot of that muddiness you might get from like double single, I mean double humbuckers. Again, there's the kind of muddiness. It's fat, but it's got a little more of that low mids. <laughs> Listen to the low note definition. Oh yeah, I love it. And let's switch over to this. Uh, I like the way that this quarter pound single coil has a lot more beef than that vintage single coil. And um, we'll mix it with this vintage single coil on the bridge. <laughs> Again, a lot more of a Strat sound. Go back to that humbucker. And some of these differences might sound a little subtle at first, but when you're really under the microscope in the studio, and those subtle differences can make all the difference to whether you're gonna be uh, frustrated in the mix phase because maybe you recorded with tone that was too muddy or you didn't leave enough room in the mix uh, to add extra parts later. Or maybe your lead guitar tone sounded wimpy because your rhythm guitar tone sounded so big. Um, you could try something like this, let's say. Record a rhythm part with the single coils. <laughs> And then when it comes to lead, get some hot, more higher output pickups. Well, hey, thanks a lot for watching, you guys. Um, again, you can check out the Gyro guitar at their website. Uh, it's in the information here with this video. And um, they're just so cool. They've, they've also got some amazing finishes. Um, on, on their website, you can see every one of their guitars they have available. They've only made, I believe, 28 of these that exist. And so each one has a different personality and uh, they just do a killer job on their website of, of showing you all the features of each of their different instruments. So make sure you check them out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.